Everybody. Uh, my name is Lenore von Stein, and I'm here today with Andrew Bolotowski, and this is another episode of The Facts. And uh, tonight's story is about a 78-year-old woman named Phoebe Toast, uh, a.k.a. Baby, that's her, her nickname. Uh, she's, she's a jazz fan, Phoebe. Uh, and she's, uh, she's a singer, but uh, she doesn't think she's very good, and m m most of the musicians she's known told her she's not very good. She's an underachiever, is our Phoebe. Baby's uncomfortable with her nickname, and it gives her a, but it, it gives her a, a, a Phoebe, Phoebe's nickname is Baby, and she's uncomfortable with it. It gives her a, a warm, drippy feeling uh, anyway, uh, and um, Baby wants to be what, uh, what, she, what she's supposed to be. I mean, like most of us, I mean, she doesn't want to appear foolish. Uh, at, at her age now, people look past her now. They don't seem to see her, which is really a drag, but it's safer. Shakes is Shakes is in a bondo. Shakes is in a bondo that's not that's not even philo. That says Shakes is in a bondo that's not even philo. It's not even it's not even thero. It's not even it's not even theo. It's not even theo. It's not even little. It's not even theo. This is a kind of a kind of seriousness. This is a kind of kind of. The emphysema of the soul. I 
obviously, uh, baby's age has changed at least uh, 78 times. You know, sometimes she had like half birthdays, right? And um, so she, you know, as you go through life, birthday parties, they go from sort of bubbly and, you know, real excited to kind of a head-holding thing. And, and, and as she got older, by the time maybe she passed in her 40s, somewhere in there, she was supposed to lie about her age. Uh, and, uh, and she did. Uh, and uh, even though she thought it was a real self-betrayal and, and dumb, uh, and dumb, well, you're dumb, it's really dumb, uh, but she did because in her culture, uh, the, the, the culture that she felt most, um, I guess we belong to a lot, I know we belong to a lot of cultures anyway, I belong to a little piece of her culture, but she was sitting like right closer into it, right, and, and, and so much of, of uh, age, this 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 feeling about age had to do with sex, had to do with parenting, had to do with one's parents, and you just couldn't buck that. Oh, push. I say, I say, 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 I. It is, uh, it's, it's December first, two thousand sixteen. I like to date these things, and we're in the we're in the, the the beginning stages of maybe some really evil long stretch of time, and and uh, because of the politics of the U.S. of A. and it's kind of reached a boil, and uh, the the evil, you know, I imagine it's very akin to what people experienced during World War II, especially in Europe or in Asia. Evil, it's right there. Or during, or in the South, you know, before and after slavery. Or in the North, before and after slavery. him. Press one to be here. But I want him to like me. Press two to eat your words. Born in your own country. Two to elaborate. Press on. To fight in bed, bed. The pillow on four disrupt more people. Stick with it. Press on it. I'm a friend. Middle age must be a very rough period of time. I remember at one point in my 20s, I, I thought, 
it's it, it, it easier to deal with much older people and much younger people. These middle-aged people are a pain. And I think it's a rough period of time. I went through it, of course. I, I don't remember much of it. Phew, phew, Play passively resisting again, please. that um, most pearl divers are women. And they, they have this extra layer of fat because uh, they go into the water. And, um, and that's what's going on. I looked up uh, the dictionary definition of the word purient um, because I, you know, this is among the things I'm trying to figure out. Anyway, purient, it says, having, it's, I'm reading, having or encouraging an excessive interest in sexual matters. Uh, and the sentence they used uh, was, she's been the subject of much purient curiosity. And the some synonyms, synonyms are salacious, licentious, voyeuristic, lascivious. Lascivious. Lascivious who? President Lascivious. Phoebe, 
the character in this story. She she shakes a little back and forth. She shakes her, you know, her money maker. She shakes a little back and forth. It, it's 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 a gate that says it says it says either uh, I'm into and or I like sex. Those are not necessarily the same things. And uh, it also might it also kind of says I I don't care what you think about me. Uh, depending on who's looking at her, right, or or some combo of people, and 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 or, and it, and at the same time, it says I'm very concerned about what you think about me, and so I am controlling it. Brother, can you spare a dime? Can you spare a dime? Can you spare a dime? Can you spare? Can you spare a dime? Can I? Would I do it? Have it? Know it? Be there? And it's always that way. We'll buy a house and garden somewhere. Or repeat. A little cottage. On the outskirts. Where we can really. Find relief. Cause nothing is any good without you. Cause baby, you're my centerpiece. So here's Phoebe, aka Baby. She's not supposed to flirt anymore. I mean, she doesn't feel like it much anyway. Um, but she was used to be. She used to. She marveled at one time. She was thinking about herself. She said, "I, I flirt with chairs, you know. I, I just, I, I, I don't know how to turn it off. I, it's, it's so embedded into who I am." Uh, Phoebe's learned that if she if she pays attention to other people and she asks them questions about themselves all the time, uh, they like it. What do you do? She could give a you know, but they like it. For the top knot, I use my head. That's what I'll say for now. And then in the end, I found the parsnip. So glad you always say. And, 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 and I echo. Me too, me too. Caesar's fire. Cheap wool. Phony plates. Or else salami. There you go. I saw him, did you? That's why we don't. And so. And so.
I'm um, I'm just a spokesman for um, spokesperson here for for this you know Phoebe baby character that I made up sort of out of my own longings and you know need to understand and it's also I, I, I patterned after somebody I used to know and and um, but I, I get this old age stuff, you know, this this going lame, losing your mind. Well, I'm not up to that one yet. I hope I never get up to that one, and as as does everyone, right? And uh, but I heard I heard somebody a long time ago, some I don't know, some guy they had on PBS say, your body starts betraying you. Can't you can't your body betrays you, betrays you, and. Um, uh, he was really very pissed about this, and um, he'd been an athlete all his life, and now his body was, you know, turning somersaults, but not with him, sort of, you know, against him. And um, um, so I, I want to mention one more time, because I think it's, in, it, it, we, we are, it, it, December 1st, uh, 2016, Donald Trump is, uh, has been elected president. Whether he's actually going to make the cut is still unknown. I have high hopes. I'm sure many people do. But the tension in the air and the, 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 the way people feel, it, it's, 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 it's really quite something. It's, 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 it's really quite terrible. And you know, people feel sick, literally sick. I got sick for about a week. And um, it's, 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 it's as if we're going to we're going to experience things and learn things that are very scary and and unescape inescapable and and you know I think the human race will find a way out of it but it's going to take a while they were always here now they now they now they're riding the horse just like the old pharaoh. <laughs> But a bow, but a bow, for 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 As you know it, press one to draw it to to evaporate. Press three. Love and enemy for Get your way. Eight. Undo. Press nine. Unjust, 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 unjust enough for you. Well, not quite. It's not quite unjust enough. I could use a little more to, you know, my eyes are still quite. I, I could use a little more. I, I don't really understand. I don't really understand. Well, I don't really understand. That's what people say. I don't really understand. I don't really understand. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I just want my insurance policy numbers to go down or up or this or that sideways or I don't know. But, you know, really, I'm really, is it so bad? Is this all I want? I don't care. What I, this is all I want. I'm having dinner. Leave me alone.
these people scared and unnecessarily? How can that be? How can that be? The monsters come out from under the bed. Oppression is oppression is oppression is oppression. Oppression of women, big group, oppression of this, that, where everybody's oppressed, but it, it's not like a seesaw where one person's oppression, you know, leads to another person's freedom. It's a two way, it's a oppression, oppression. So, from all of us to all of you, this is me and Andrew, I'm saying I'm speaking for Andrew, uh, saying good night for the facts.